Hi everyone, Butterflies in Space, Joe here, and today uh, I am commuting from Long Island, New York, up to Buffalo, New York. Uh, so, packing, um, I got off to a late start, and it was really stressful for me, uh, and I had a lot of anxiety. Then, uh, I encountered a little bit of uh, car trouble that we got, that, but I got through it. Um, and, you know, fine now, but, um, it was, you know, a very, uh, stressful morning so far, but we are, you know, my, uh, the, myself and the people I'm with are officially on our way up to Buffalo to see the total solar eclipse, and this is really, really exciting. Now, for those of you who are not from New York, and, uh, don't realize how far uh, Long Island is from Buffalo. Uh, it's about a eight hour drive at least, um, assuming no stops. So uh, we have to, Long Island is outside New York City, so we would have to go, we have to pass, drive through New York City and then upstate New York and then all the way up over. Uh, around the mountain uh, and then before ultimately getting to Buffalo over by Niagara Falls. So this is going to be really, really, this is a really, really exciting journey for me and I'm excited. So I will post, I will make some periodic updates uh, to this video and I have my uh, Dwarf Lab uh, Dwarf 2 telescope that I will hopefully if everything works out, be recording the eclipse, a hyperlapse, as well as doing uh, some, uh, you know, vlogging along the way and talking about my emotions that the eclipse uh, brings out, stuff like that, my experiences, and yeah. So I will uh, talk a bit more when you know, as I get some updates. Hi everyone, so uh, another update. Uh, we just made it to Buffalo, so uh, now we are headed to the place we are staying, and uh, we also might scout out some places to go see the, to go watch it, to view it, uh, or if we're gonna view it, uh, you know, outside the place where we're staying, but yeah, uh, it's exciting. So we made it to the uh, Airbnb that we're staying at, and it's super, super cool here in Buffalo. Uh, as you can see, the Airbnb even has a some old payphones and old school telephones in it. Uh, unfortunately, they don't work, uh, which is disappointing, but um, yeah. Okay, so now that I am up here over on this overpass, uh, this gate, uh, might pose a problem for the smart telescope because of the on the overpass this big gate uh, might get in the way of the grid lines. It might make for a really cool uh, you know, um, picture, but uh, to of the sun through the grid lines, but also uh, an artistic wise, but also it um, may just block the view altogether. Uh, also, um, the, as you can see, the clouds are not working with me this morning, so I am praying to the uh, yeah, to the heavens above for a clear sky during the eclipse. And yeah. Okay, so a quick update. Um, I just I just grabbed all my stuff and. Uh, so the initial plan of where we were going to watch uh, and view the eclipse, uh, especially, uh, and I had just set up my telescope, my smart telescope, the Dwarf 2 telescope as well, but I, we it's a quick change of plans because, and we have uh, maybe an hour and a half before, or t maybe two hours before the eclipse starts, the partial eclipse starts, uh, but the cloud coverage, um, it jumped from... Yesterday morning, it was a 60% chance where we are. 
then as of this morning it jumped to 72 then 73 and now 75 percent chance of clouds and yesterday, yesterday evening was also 82 percent so i kept it jumped up then it jumped down this morning uh but this morning niagara falls had a higher percentage of cloud cover uh niagara falls state park um by like five percent now it just flipped uh niagara falls state park is a 70 percent chance of cloud cover and where we are is a 75 percent chance so we're gonna just take a risk and journey over to Niagara Falls State Park, which is a half an hour away, and uh, try to get in and set up. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what happens. This is going to be a journey. Uh, the journey begins. Or journey continues, rather. So while, while we're commuting to the uh, from where we are in Buffalo to the Niagara Falls State Park. Um, I also am going to say that you know, one of the other thing, issues that came up during this trip was uh, so I had planned to initially interview a few people uh, for, about accessibility and um, disabilities and such, uh, but unfortunately that didn't pan out this, this time around at least. Uh, there will definitely be future opportunities, but this time around uh, stuff just happened. Um, so where you know, they just you know, things came up on there and that made them unavailable uh, but I am going to try to you know, schedule another trip up here to do this uh, to do those interviews so um, you know, for future you know, for future videos or even if it's done through virtual or something but, um, no. uh, we can't control certain things but this is life um, but uh, this is definitely a interesting experience so far. Also, apparently it started to drizzle a little bit where we were. And uh, now we're trying to, as I said, we're, we're uh, trying to get to the Niagara Falls State Park in time to get there uh, safely. With enough time to set up, of course. So. Okay, so the parking there uh, in the park itself was closed off, uh, so we had to find parking. That was a headache. Now we have to walk to the actual park, which is going to be about at least 15 minutes probably. Uh, so we're really fighting against time at the moment, but uh, this is exciting and um, there's a lot more people around here, so at least uh, if things go sour, it's a collective experience. <laughs> How many minutes? Like, we are seven minutes away from totality. How much? Seven minutes from totality. Oh. Darkness. Raining, raining.
Thank you so much. So we are three minutes from totality and it is getting really, it's starting to get dark out uh, and it's, this is just really surreal, like, um, and it's, it's gotten
Oh, God, damn. that one moment.